ya. Right, sorry. I got carried away and started doing this without putting the video on. I'm going to do a trinket tray. These are um, stamps, but I use them as inlays. Now on that it says mermaid and starfish. These two here, I can't pick them up anymore because I forgot. That's little fish in there. And I'm going to find some... Ooh, some shells as well and right so when it comes to my um, tattoos me personally I get a baby wipe and I start dabbing because then you know you're not going to get loads I have done it before where I get water and do it that way but quite often it's too much I just hope these little fish come out because they are cute little things let's see if I can drip out a little bit of water drip out a little bit of water and let it soak in. All right, while that's soaking in, I'm going to quickly find my shells and I'll be back. Well, I'm running out of uh, shells. Little ones. I've got loads of the big ones. Right. So this is all I've got left by the looks of it. So I'm just going to pick out the little ones. And put them down the side loop. I'm gonna sit down to do this. Oh. Okay. I'm going to get many in here. can fit in really even quite thick and really good hmm. that's a shame I think to put a few more around there star have I got Oh, 
tiny ones, like so. Uh, that way is supposed to go. No, that was too big. It's going to be too big as well. Broken, but they'll do, won't they? Little one. I was watching something on YouTube the other day, and it was something to do with where it's cold. I don't know where it was exactly, and they actually showed that this. Like ice thing, and it like came down onto the seed bed, and whatever it touched, it froze and killed. And there's hundreds and hundreds of little starfish running around. And they all died, bless them. They're a bit useful, worth uh, chat for you. <laughs> Useless chat, should I say? Not useful. <laughs> Ones. Oops, sorry, hand in the way. Do it so because it's all coming across the top above the top. Seems no good. It's probably the same one I keep picking up. But when you do a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? You just constantly pick up the wrong bits, the same bits all the time. So that's that. Okay. Now these, there you go, look, give them a good soak. That just solids off. Like that. And that one. Just like that. And then dry it off. Just tap it slightly, otherwise you're gonna end up losing your tattoo. I think they are so cute. Starfish. I'll be back when I've cleared this up. Okay, I've made me resin as well. This is uh, FTSUTY 
and it's the first first bottle I've ever used of these and to be quite honest I like it I do like it it's um casting and coating now every time I um do coasters if I need to top coat them I've always found that the resin just what madly overflows this if you go back I think it's the video before this um, the cats in coasters I top coated them no problem whatsoever and I really like it I do like it so I'm gonna tip a bit in here Okay, I don't know, I've not measured it, I've just tipped, tipped it. I'm going to get myself a stick. I've got a blueberry resin colourant and these are from Deco Rom. So I'm, all I'm doing is going to put one drop in and see how that goes I don't want it um, really dark or anything like that I want it so it looks blue but you can still see all the bits probably haven't even got enough in here anyway but okay so also I'm going to put just a tad of this now this is my favourite glitter it's not even a glitter it's uh, embossing powder got it from the range uh, Enchanted Gold it's called um, Paper Mania by the looks of it who makes it and I love it I do absolutely love it now I just want to give it a bit of a sparkle just a little bit maybe a bit more than that that's better that's all I wanted just a little tiny sparkle on it so I'm not going to add no more blue to it because I think that's fine or shall I add a little bit more mm, no okay so I'm just very slowly going to pour this around the edges now you've got to remember that these shells have got holes in them so they might end up with air pockets so that's why I'm only drizzling it over trying to stop the air so much hopefully the air will come out I'm going quiet because I'm concentrate. Oops, see, don't concentrate. I'll go out over the edge. Right. That didn't take as much as I thought. I thought it was going to take a lot more than that. So I'm going to get myself my old mica brush and I'm going to try to make sure that there's no air pockets. It might be easier said than done. There, there. Get off. What am 
fine. Molten. Getting old and molten. I don't think these are too bad actually. I think it's gradually sunk into them. What's that? that in there. Get out. Now I've got to be careful because I've run out of gas on my uh, lighter and I've packed it because those who watch me know I'm on the verge of moving. Just waiting for the date now. And that will be it. I'll be moving. Okay. Is that all that? Oh, that's all right. That's the outside. Right. Okay. So, what we're going to do? I definitely don't want to lose my little fishies. So, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Just one more drop. Mix that in. Now these aren't inks that I'm using, this is uh, pigments. Okay. So I'm going to put that over the top of this yet again I'm going to do it from height and slow so it drizzles into the, the gaps hopefully that way you don't get bubbles hopefully right, let that drizzle Make sure I make. So I know I can see the fish still because I've gone over the fish there. So I'm still going to be able to see the fish, which is good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got a frog in the throat. For those fishies, go swimming in the water, fishy wishies. I know that's going to mix in with the other, other stuff, but I don't mind. Okay. Right. Now then. Ah, uh, thinking. <laughs> Can you hear the cogs going? 
the old brain ticking over. Right, so this is all of it in here. Only made up. Uh, hang on, I'll check in a minute because usually I work by mill. I don't think this one does mill. Well, it's not what I measured out anyway. Uh, ounces. So I mixed that in total four ounces. So that would have been two ounces of the A and two ounces of the B. But you don't do it by weight, you do it by volume. Always read your bottles. Believe me, I've made the mistake. Read your bottles and find out if it's volume or weight. Right. Okay. That's that all used up. Now, what am I going to do with it? Um... Um, 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 let me, I'm going to get another, see if I can find a different blue. Oh. Ah. Ooh, what's that one? Violet. What's that one? That one, forget-me-not. Okay, I've got forget-me-not. Up, please. Don't get drunk on the old resin. I'm going to put some of this in here. I don't know what colour this is. Two drops. Another two drops, so it's four. Another two. <laughs> I know what I'm thinking and I'm hoping, but I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> gonna oh there ain't that much difference is there should have saved some of the clear bit late now Sandra My old starfish and stones aren't going under. I'm going to have to give them a push, I think. I'll do what I was thinking and add a bit more tomorrow. I don't want to. I want to load it so I can uh, unmold it so I can upload something because I haven't got a video. Okay. 
Now let's try and submerge everything. Does need a little bit more on top, doesn't it? After I drunk, you have to act drunk. Right, <coughs> give that a quick. Look at that straight away. I can see bleeding hairs in it. Right now, I've got a feeling these little starfish are going to keep coming up. Who are you? You're not. I see you're not bubble. You are. thinking of making up just a tad more to put on that last little bit so because uh, that is floating again stick them down a bit they were down that way Get down there, you cheeky. Oh, and you sort of floating. Just a tad more. It's not quite where they're floating up. They're not quite sitting where they should. Don't find them sitting up that far. On that way. I want them standing up as best as they can. Okay. See, they're going to do my. I'm going to leave it. And then I will probably wait for it to get tacky and then put maybe just one more little layer on just to make sure everything is covered. Because that starfish keeps on coming out the bleeding resin. Mm. 
right I shall see you when this is ready to demold there's, there's no point in showing you me putting on a another coat so I shall see you actually what I might do is when this is dry no no scrap that my little brain's ticking my little brain is ticking what it looks like hopefully it doesn't ruin it but drip white in that, that one's no good that's the sinker that's no good Where are you? White. Right, not sure which one this is. This could be custom craft or it could be. I think this might be craft, custom craft. Got my hair on there. Just to give it that little bit extra on the bottom. <laughs> Better not do it over the top, had I? No, my luck. It would um go straight into it into the actual thing. Squirt everywhere. I should have done that round the edges. Oh well. Never do mind. Right, I'll do it there then. Still doing it over the top, ain't I? Waves from on top. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, I shall see you when this is ready to demold. I'm going to probably put just a little tiny top coat on top. Oh, you better sit still, you pain in the backside. Stick to the side. That's what you're supposed to do. And you. I can see I'm going to have to keep coming backwards and forwards. Right. I shall see you soon. Ta-da! Right. This is all cured. I put a clear coat on the back um, because the actual little starfish were sticking out. So, but it was just a clear coat, so I didn't think you, you know, it was worth videoing it. 
So let's take it all off. A little tiny bit of overspill there. Oh, I'll pick that off with me nail. Probably break me nail doing that. <laughs> that bit. Quite excited to see what this is going to turn out like actually. Oh, come on, get off. Right, ready? Oh, right, let's take these. Oh, I've got a bit of over underspill, overspill on me. Um, doji flips. Right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. No, not that one, Sandra. No, that no, one might work. Oh, come on, Mr. Shell. Oh, these are hard to get out. I've done something like this before and key rings with these stamps and they come out easy. <laughs> this one ain't. Ah, that's it, got it. I've got it. There you go. Oh, there's only a little tiny bit of overspill. But that's that bit. Get off. God, it's full of static, this stuff, isn't it? Right, this is the wording, isn't it? Okay, so. Oh, wow. That's that one. A couple of uh, starfish to get out. That's it. That's that one. I'm using the dotting tool. So then I'll, hopefully it won't ruin my um, stamps. And this one. Oh, it won't come out. Get out, you naughty little thing. I think my stamp's going to be ruined on this one. <laughs> I can't get the blink thing out. Oh, try and have a tentacle. No, there's resin all over it, I think. Yeah. I've got some overspill. Oh, blimey, people. This is a tough little bugger to get out. He really don't want to come out. He's quite happy in there. Get out. Right, I'm going to get this out and I'll be back. Got it, finally. Um... Now I was, oh look, I've got an air bubble in that shell. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. It's cute. It really is cute. I love it. The only thing is, I've run out of resin. So I'm going to have to do it once I've got some resin. Is I was going to fill these in, write these in, and sort of like bit on that and a bit on this and then I'd have to put a flood coat over it I've got a few holes in the sides air bubble holes I'm quite surprised I got them because I was quite digging around in that but but yeah I'm gonna have to what I'm gonna do is get my I got these and I'm going to do it sil oh, it's not got silver in it, is it? No. Okay, so it's going to have to be white. I'm going to do it white. So all I'm going to do, is these are Deco Colour Glossy Oil Based Paint Marker. And they are extra fine tip. I got them off of um, Amazon. So what I want to do is with the M and the wording is basically fill it in. 
like this. And I will, once I get some resin, I'll have to give it a top coat, as I said, because otherwise the pen will probably chip off. So I'm just going to carry on like that, and I'll be back when it's finished. Boo. I think I forgot to press play. So I shall give you a preview. <laughs> because I've got a feeling I forgot to press play. I'm going to put a flood coat on this. That's the snail. It came out absolutely gorgeous. Love him to pieces. And my unicorn that i done for my other granddaughter. I'll say it again. If you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, I'd love it if you would. It helps my channel to grow. Um, give me a, a thumbs up hopefully you like the, the video so you will give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell to let you know when I'm uploading I never upload uh, straight away I always do it so that you get a, a bit of a notification um, and I think that's it well thank you very much for watching Hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da!